Thompson the Salon from Access Space. Um, been going there for 19 years. Um, I mainly primarily do painting, but I have done other things as well. But it's mainly the painting I do. I, I, I tend to. I sometimes do colours just instinctively, but it's only when I start experimenting with the colours, they start to gradually build up on their own, kind of, you know? Yeah, I use a lot of reds, greens, purples, yellows, oh God, loads, and tend to use a lot of oranges sometimes. I don't, yeah, like really bright oranges sometimes. So for um, House 2016, the festival, you've done a new series of um, commissioned paintings. Yeah. Do you want to say a little bit about your approach to those, what you've been doing? Uh, well, well, it was, it was this, it stemmed from visiting Brighton two or three years ago. Yeah. And then I sort of like used that as an idea to compare how I am in London, how I mm-hmm. was in London. So to make that, I don't know, I suppose in a way to make that direct comparison. Yeah. So what does London feel like? For you. Well, for me, London, uh, it tends to feel very stressful, very you know, compact, very pressured, mm-hmm. and a bit claustrophobic. Okay, Personally. so and you've tried to capture some yeah, of that in your paintings. Yeah. So we've got um, a London one here, haven't we? Yeah. So do you want to talk a little bit about this one? One of my bedroom, where, as you can see in the background, there's lots of things going on from through the window. So that's kind of Going back to that thing of claustrophobia and closed in, yeah. and then all the stress. Yeah. And the windows are quite important in your paintings, aren't they? Yes, um, I was using the windows to give a, like, a sense of perspective mm-hmm. of how, how we see in and how we see out. Yeah. And then you came to visit the Regency Townhouse and you were quite struck, weren't you, by this space here yeah. and the windows. Do you want to talk a little bit about yeah, how you felt when you saw this this space here in the room at the Regency um, Townhouse? I, I suppose I was a bit taken back by the scale yeah. of, the, of the rooms. I wasn't too sure of whether, you know, how was, I was uh, it made me think, well, how would I capture those in a painting? Yeah. So it gave me a lot to think about and to play with for ideas. Yeah. yeah. So as well as the, um, the London paintings and the Brighton paintings, mm. you've also done some smaller paintings which you call your monster paintings yeah. and I know for you they describe a slightly different state of feeling so yeah. Yeah. we have one here do you want to talk about that yeah that that's all stems from like emotional <coughs> dialogue and how things in my life at the moment are not being so great so it's kind of just like it's kind of conveying that kind of feeling of the uncertainty and the anxiety of how that makes you feel yeah at the time. So these figures, these, what do you, what are these? Just these are like almost like surrealist dream-like figures, uh-huh. and they just tend to appear when things don't make like right. this kind of. Yeah. And the colours here are quite different, aren't they, to some yeah. of your other paintings? Yeah, they're different due to um, the fact I'm trying to convey that sense of anxiety and that uncertainty. And that's why in these ones I did a bit more, not just, just the colour, but also texture as well. Mm-hmm. So to give you that sense of that emotional style of moving. And, yeah. yeah, completely. And it's obviously situated here over the fireplace, yeah. which feels quite appropriate, doesn't it? Yeah. And when you were thinking about how to hang the whole exhibition, you were thinking about telling a story, weren't you, from the downstairs? To the upstairs. Yeah. What, what what sort of story do you want to tell? Um, I was just trying to tell, you know, tell a mixture of um, to talk about a mixture of emotions I have about about home and uh, how I view home, and also to talk about this thing about reflection. Yeah. Of um, how I see myself and how other people see myself. That's why I've got one or two paintings with mirrors in, so it yeah. kind of talks about that a bit more as well. Yeah. Not just about the emotional anxiety, so... Yeah. I started to add to move into the actual exhibition, is to give that sense of being transported to somewhere else, and that idea of how I'm viewed as a person. And talk more and more about this thing of reflection, so it's kind of... 
kind of sort of like ties in with that due to the painting there that's yeah. a little bit. So. so this painting here is actually of downstairs, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And Perhaps you can talk about what we're actually seeing here for people less familiar. Um, what, 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 what you're seeing here is um, well, the painting of the, the, yeah, it's the painting of the room downstairs, and it's sort of like the mirror that's in the room downstairs, where it looks like you're going into somewhere else. You're not in the actual. You don't feel like you're in the actual room. It's like you've been transported to somewhere else. You know. Mm -hmm. down to Brighton to talk to us about the House Commission. It was a really beautiful day, wasn't it? Yeah. And you came here to Regency Town House and went out into the square and along the seafront, mm. after which you produced a series of paintings like this on Brighton, yeah. which I think suggests to me how taken you have been by the architecture and, um, well, Brighton's kind of jubilance almost, really. Most of my paintings do consist of a lot of architecture in it, so yeah. it's kind of I've always had this fascination with buildings because nearly every painting I've done is on a building, not with people or anything, so it's kind of. So this sort of like fits in with that fascination of buildings that I have, so it's kind of works. Yeah. And I love the way you've just captured an aspect of the square so yeah. simply in many respects. Yeah. And again, it's a window, it's what you've really kind of picked up on. Yeah, it was just yeah, I thought because I tried to use the window as a theme in all of them, and so it just kind of became the starting point of the work. That you know, I mean, if I take a certain aspect of the house, like whether it's the doors or the windows or anything, use that as a thing that could be part of. We well, use oh, mm -hmm. we have covered it. Yeah. Uh, but that's the downside of painting. The enjoyable part is putting your colours together and working. The downside is being mm, covered in it. That's the only stick I hate. Apart from that, uh, I don't mind doing paint. So here we've got some more interiors of the Regency Townhouse. Yeah. 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 yeah, this is yeah, it's the Regency Townhouse. And that's like a view out of the window of what I see. Like seeing another house. Mm -hmm. Places. Um, yeah, this is more or less about that. More or less. And you've got figures in this one? But yeah, this one's got figures. Some, <coughs> some of the paintings have got figures in, like the one behind you there, and this one. And some, I think there's another one downstairs that's got figures in it. But yeah, I was also thought not only add texture and colour in the paintings, but also add figures in them as well. So it's like I've taken those three elements and somehow combined them combine them together so that so it's kind of and the figures I've noticed are often black or grey. Yeah. They're not ever colourful. Yeah, because I don't want to like give out uh, the identity <laughs> of the people, that's why that's yeah. why I sort of like make it sort of like not more or less creepy but almost anonymous. Sort of yeah. like so, so that people don't know who it is in that room. You know. So that making it like a life portrait or anything, you know, it's just yeah. yeah. Is that because do you think the people are less important than the space? Yeah, because I think it's because I'm focusing more on what the room is about yeah. and what it's like than what the person than the people. So it's kind of yeah. But that's why I decided to make the figures a bit more shadowy so that you wouldn't know who they are and you get to see a bit more of the interior of the room. So it's kind of yeah. It all came about when one day at school in the art class. The teacher saw me sitting here, not being out with other kids playing or anything, I was just sitting there just drawing away. And, it was, and he was blown away by some of the drawings I did. I've only 12 years old though, but you know, yeah. and he just saw me just drawing away. And I thought, oh, that's brilliant, just make a career out of it. Yeah. And I didn't believe him, he goes, you know, he didn't really believe it at first. I didn't believe him at first, obviously, at the age of 12, I wouldn't believe that, would you? So, yeah. you know. But I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll give it a think, you know. And. and and I think that's 
I think that's how the passion or the love of art came about. And and they used to give me all sorts of advice, you know. Never mind if your artwork's not inch perfect, it doesn't matter, you know. Every artist has their own style, he used to say to me. And I never believed him. But now, some years later, I kind of believe that now, you know what I mean? That yeah. he's right. So it'd be good to talk a bit more about your, your practice, actually, as well, I think, yeah. as, as an artist. And okay. obviously, this commission has been quite a big opportunity, I think, in yeah. some respects for you, hasn't yeah. it? And what's it felt like making work in quite a concentrated period of time? Because you've actually done, what, 14, 15 new paintings? paintings yeah. 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 What's it's, that been like? Uh, oh, yeah. It was a bit tough at first. Yeah, got lots of help and support. And, and, um, and uh, so that kind of... It was good to have so that lot of buildings forward and, so, yeah. and work out the ideas of what I have behind what ones or behind each painting really and, and explain a bit more. When you look around the room at what you've put together as a new series, what do you think about them when you look at them all together? Um, I feel it's like, I don't know, sort of like a real sense of achievement in itself. I mean, to be able to work in this all space of time like that, which was what two weeks, it was tough. But by the time I managed to do it, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, even though it was a testimony result, but I managed to do it. So it was kind of, you know. Yeah. yeah. And obviously, as part of the commission, you had to come and you had to apply for that, didn't you? Yeah, I had to apply and for that. Yeah, it was like you had to put together a proposal which Shell helped me at Access Space and yeah, and had to submit the work for it. And, yeah. So tell me a bit more about Action Space, because it was Action Space, I think, who made you aware of the commission proposal in the first place, wasn't it? Yeah, because it was, um, I think it was because Cheryl spoke to Jennifer outside in, and outside in, uh, suggested it would be good for me to try something else, mm -hmm. other than be part of group shows and stuff, so it was kind of like, you know what I mean? Yeah, so you go to Action Space on a regular basis, yeah. can you say a bit about what Action Space helped you to do? Um, I, I, well they helped me like, develop the work that I, that I tend to make every week, so it's kind of, and, and they also helped me develop as an artist in the work as well, so it's kind of, yes. And outside in, you're also registered with them, aren't you, as well? Yeah. And is that a similar relationship, or is that slightly different? Uh, I don't know, I, no, not really, it's not the same, because I don't know it's... You don't make work, do you, as yeah. part of outside yeah, yeah, in, you're registered with them? Yeah, yeah. My social worker said, maybe you should join an art group if you like this kind of thing. So I thought, well, I don't know, I'm not very good with people, you know, kind of thing. No, I said, you should try it, it might be good for your confidence, you know, might be some good. So what happened was is that um, my social worker at the time contacted this place, like that space, and said, oh, I've got someone to be interested in this, and, and she said, me, and you know, yeah. And like, I remember I came here and uh, I wasn't too sure of everyone, you know what I mean? I remember seeing the cheetah, I remember the cheetah from something. And I wasn't too, too sure of the other guys from the group, in the group, you know, I was like, no, I don't know these people, who are these people, you know? And, and I remember that like, on the first day here, um, I was just, you know, just come in, say like the cheetah, not really say anything to the other guys, I just come in. So I let the student just sit down and swap, you know what I mean? And that was because I was very, I was pretty shy and not very confident. That was the thing. I used to spend a lot of time at home, drawing. <laughs> I never used to go out anywhere or anything, so I used to spend a lot of time sitting at home drawing. Just drawing every day. Yeah, so that's why, you know, that's why art was my favourite subject at school, because it was a chance for me to express how I feel and what I think, you know, it became like, I suppose in those days it became like my form of communication, to say how I feel and think, you know, and it was that kind of thing, you know, you know I mean? it was like, through my work, it was my way of saying, this is me, this is what I think, you know, you know. instead of just, you know, instead of saying it verbally, it was like, you know, 